Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agnetsoft Research Company and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a linear regression in Excel. So, you probably have seen my other videos in linear regression. If you have not, I, um, I recommend you that you watch them, but do not worry, I will... I will explain them all in here. So you can see I have some data. I have years listed in here. I have interest rate uh, described in percentage. And then I have home price. What I want to do is that, um, what I want to do is to make a relationship between the in interest rate and the home price so in here home price is dependent on interest rate so we want to we want to have a relationship in order to be able to predict the home price based on interest rate so interest rate is x variable and home price is y variable okay so so we know that the the general rule is that we have y equals to b plus a x so y is dependent variable b is our intercept a is the x multiplier what we multiply by x in order to add it to b and get the y okay so we uh, we multiply a by x and then x is independent variable we note also that in regression what we have is that we have some dots in here okay we have all these dots but we know that most of these dots are centered with a line. We can describe most of these dots by this line. Um, although it's it's not always the rule, you know, when whenever we have a good fitted line in regression, then this is the situation when we have a good fitted line that means that most of our data are explainable are describable by the the equation and then for this lines and for this regression equation we can calculate the r squared which moves between 0 to 1 one is one means the best fitting line and zero means maybe none of the data is explained by the line so that was a quick introduction to linear in, uh, regression in excel in order to have the linear regression equation in excel you can do some you can go for some different ways okay so the first one and the easiest one is that you go to insert tab select your data so i have the home price dependent on interest rate i select my data go to insert in charts select scatter plot and then uh, plot your data in a scatter way okay then you could see that this is the x this is the y truly visualized then you go to chart elements so i go for chart elements and i add the trend line i click on here go for the linear okay i, I go for more options it doesn't work like that and go for display equation on chart and also display r squared uh, value on chart so you could see my regression is something like this so in here whenever 
the interest is going up, the home price goes down. Okay, so that's what we can understand from the chart and from the regression equation in here. You could see the minus sign in here. So whenever the x goes up, the y goes down. So the other the other way in order to have the regression, the linear regression analysis in Excel is to go for data tab and data analysis. But before that, if you have not enabled data analysis, if you cannot see the data analysis in here, you have not enabled it. Okay, you go to file options and in add-ins in manage it should be excel add-ins okay click on go and then analysis tool pack should be checked click ok and analysis tool pack is right in here so uh, i click on that and then i go for regression click ok and then input y range in here is home price which was the dependent var variable and input x range is the mortgage interest rate which is the independent variable so you check the labels so i want to i want excel to understand these labels and take them as the variable label and I want to select my output range in here. So I select it, click OK. You could see the output tables are now shown in here. OK. So in summary output, you can see the regression statistics. Multiple R, which is R. Uh, and it could be from minus one to plus one. Okay, so it 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 has the direction. And then we have r squared, which does not have any direction, and it can be from zero to one. Uh, it's point thirty eight, and it can maybe show us that it it has not a very good r squared okay so it's not very good r squared but it is acceptable in some degree then we have a standard error and so you can see i have 16 observations also then is the anova table so in anova table you can see the regression regression residuals in total and sum of the squares, mean squares, F statistic, and significance F. I do not have um, any um, analysis on this table in here. And I want to jump into the next table. Uh, you can see the intercept and mortgage interest rate. Um, as much as variables, as much as independent variables that you have, you could have the more rows in here so if if i have another independent variable there will there will be another row in here okay so now i can write regression relationship based on this table in here so i can write y equals um intercept is this number so we have three nine three three four eight sixty one plus uh minus of course minus two three four hundred and nine point forty four that's four times x 
but what does this intercept mean uh, this intercept means that if the x which is interest rate if the interest rate is zero then the the y or the price of the house at least is three hundred ninety three thousand and etc okay but whenever the x starts from one two three etc then this number is subtracted from this huge number okay so whenever the x goes up the y goes down what we mentioned in the chart also on the scatter plot chart so then you can see the standard error and t statistic we want the t, t statistic in order to calculate the p-value in here the p-value is so low for intercept and also for interest rate so this p-value for interest rate is is one percent you could see so it is it, it shows us that this independent variable is a good predictor in five percent in a 95 percent significance level which the alpha is five percent and we know that if p-value is lower than alpha we could say that the variable is significantly important in order to predict the y variable so i guess that's all i had for linear regression in excel i hope you have learned something new and i hope you liked and enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel in order to see the newer videos i will see you in the next video and bye